All right, all right, all right. Hey, what's up, people? Good to meet you, Jessica. What's up, Joseph? All right, I'm going to be um, showing you all how to add locations to a map. Um, I've got a client that has a, uh, a website built on Wix, and they have um, they sell cigars, and they have a bunch of uh, they have their cigars in a bunch of stores across the United States. So on their website, they want to be able to show all the different um, locations where their cigars can be bought at. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to log into Wix, click sign in. Uh, I'm going to send you the username and password. Take the username and password here and log in. Alright, once we're logged in here, click Manage Site. Once you're here, click Edit Site. Opens up another window. As this window is loading, um, all the locations are going to be on this Excel sheet. There are a total of 150 locations. Alright, so I'm uh, actually it's less than that it's probably about 145 145 locations so we're going to be adding all 145 locations to a map on this website alright so here we are on the Wix back end this is what they what this site was built in it's a uh, content management system it's uh, it's very user friendly but uh, I don't particularly like it because it's um, it doesn't give you a lot of freedom but anyway what you're going to be doing is uh, go up here to the pages and you're going to navigate to the test page and on the test page you will see this map click on the map once you click on the map you get this little button here for settings we'll go to settings and under settings we'll start adding locations here alright so um, it looks like some things are in here already I'm going to delete these real quick um, I don't know what they are and the way I'm deleting uh, first of all I'm just clicking on this I'm right clicking and uh, just saying delete alright so our map is empty we're starting with a fresh map let's go and get the first location alright the first location is uh, this address right here and I'm just what I did was I clicked in this first box I go to my last box hold shift down on my keyboard and then click and it selects all of that in between and now to copy it um, if you're on a uh, Windows computer you would control C or I'm on a Mac so I'm going to command C and I'm, I've copied that location there I'm going to come over here and in this box in the address box, I'm going to uh, paste in the address. Now, it didn't pull, it didn't pull anything up because uh, I've got all these weird gaps in here. So I'm going to start closing up these gaps. I'm even going to take the name of the store off. Um, once I took the name of the store off, it, it this time it came up. Um, but notice this is Walt, not old Walt, but just Walt. So let's go ahead and click on that location. Once I clicked on that location it dropped the, um, the pin right there now we're every single pin that we put in here we're going to edit the pins in order to edit it you have to double click alright now that we double clicked um, the first thing I want to do all of these are going to have a, a custom icon uh, and I'm going to send you the icon uh, I need to upload it first let's see well actually once I upload it you won't have to uh, I won't have to send it to you so um, doo -doo -doo -doo, where is it Done. That's going to be our custom icon. Um, and then in this box right here, we want to write the actual name of the store and the address. So we can we can copy this again and come back over here and just paste. Um, I don't like 
that uh, it gave it, it copied the um, the actual frame from Excel I don't want that so we're gonna undo that um, and there is a button in here it's probably that one yep all right I'm gonna paste inside of this box the reason why that form didn't copy inside of here it this box will only accept text and code like HTML code so um, this is more so what we want and uh, now that this text is in here we can clean it up on the other side alright so the text is in here let's clean it up and let's uh, for instance we'll bold that and address is here um, that's fine to leave that on there just bolt just bolt the name of the shop and leave the leave the rest of it like that and click save I don't know what radius set an area around the pinpoint uh, we don't have to worry about that just click save and let's see what we have alright there it is um, so the cigar is pointing to our location uh, alright and it gives us the name of it up here that's exactly what we want so let's um I did not want that if, if you accidentally click on the map and, and accidentally add a location just right click on it and uh, and delete it alright so let's go and add the next location alright so copy that address coming over here paste the new address alright nothing came up um, you know now that I'm looking at it it looks like they missed a, a number on the zip code in uh, I'm, yeah zip code in America the um, all the zip codes are five digits so they they actually missed a number on here so we're not um, we're not getting a, a location to come up so what I'm going to do well there it is the reason why it just came up more than likely I've got the I don't know why it came up really um, this the name of the shop is two guys smoke shop okay so it just found the street so that's that's good what I do want to do real quick is make sure that this is correct so I'm gonna copy this entire thing with the name of the uh, the name of the shop and I'm gonna confirm that over here on um, this is map Google Maps and you get to that just by going maps.google.com alright um, I'm gonna paste that address here and again nothing came up right away I removed that bad zip code and there it is two guys smoke shop alright so this this is the correct address I'm gonna copy that address and paste that in there alright um, that is correct so let me click on that. All right, it drops the pin pinpoint right there. I'm going to double click on that. We have to change. We have to add our in, own uh, icon in again. Click apply. All right, and then um, paste the name of the uh, the name and the address of the company. And remember, we want this. I shortcut on that I just triple clicked one two three triple click and it'll get the whole thing or you can scale you know scan it and highlight the whole thing but time saver triple click hit bold done save alright so looking at these drop downs again there's the first one looks good second one oops second one looks good that's the trick that's it it's um it's pretty pretty simple we, we just follow that format for all of these guys and um, we've got some time to get them all in but uh, I mean it's, it's pretty simple so it shouldn't even take that long you know what I just realized the phone number is actually in here too so if you can go ahead and add the phone number on these as well so let me, let me go back and add the phone number um, so I'm on 117 right now. I'm going to double click this guy. Uh, make sure I've got the right phone number. All right, cool. Um, and add the phone number. Save. Let me go back to the first one. Two guys. Uh, add the phone number. I'm going to double click. Phone number. Save. Alright, once we're once we're done with everything, 
just click uh, save do not click publish just click save and um, from here you just hit done and and that's it when you're actually all the way done you don't have to do anything special the biggest thing about it is making sure that you click save if you leave this screen and do not click save none of that work will be done you have to go back and do it all over again so make sure you save it alright do not publish it just make sure you save it and that's pretty much it alright guys give me a shout if you have any questions um, either on uh, the uh, well probably on Skype just give me a shout on Skype because I'm uh, I won't be in front of my computer so I'll get that on my phone alright and uh, if you have any questions just holler at me talk to you all later bye bye